only thing that I'll tell you. Your journey to Indiago is a fruitful one. Thank you, great one. There is a question I would like to ask you, and I want you to give me a specific answer. Why did you leave all the diviners in Umu Akadiani and come all the way to Indiago for a main inquiry? It was an instruction by my late father to visit different diviners upon the emergence of a new moon. Your father was a great man of Umakadiani Kingdom. And from what I can see here, he is very happy with you for trading on the path that he has chosen for you. I have no choice. Men that are men obey their fathers and adhere to every instruction. I learned that when I was a child. And growing up with it, I came to understand that obedience to one's father has a lot to contribute to a man's success. The gods of your fathers will continue to bless you. You shall be like tomorrow. For tomorrow has no end. He said that which we eat will come your way. He said that which is determined to eat you will never come near you. He said. Greetings, great Ila of our land. Greetings. If it's you with Allah, I greet you. I greet you. So I've seen you on our way to hunting. Means we are going to kill big animals today. He say, may your fate lead you as you have proclaimed. <laughs> we want your blessings. Please, wish us well. May the gods favor you. He said, I swear by the gods to bring whatever I'm going to kill and share them into two equal parts and bring a better part to you. <laughs> As your spirit leads, O oh teacher, I shall be on my way now. Wrong with him. Let me go. If you if, if you break off, eh, I will I will get this on you. Now your body can humble myself in greeting. Mm, my daughter, mm. I, are you mad? Eh? Who has you to greet my father? Are you your son? Oh, okay. <laughs> You should be taking permission for me before you greet my father. Is it so good? Control whatever spirit that has taken possession of you. Look, if you kill anybody here, 
the people around here will set you ablaze. I will melt on the fire. <laughs> yes, and I won't be able to save you. Get it? Give me that. Follow me. Come with me. I say, follow me. You know, you have, you have collected my weapon of warfare. He has gone completely mad. He picked up his stick and almost killed me. What did you do to him? I only greeted his father. Then he started asking me who asked me to greet his father. And then he picked up his stick and wanted to kill me. Listen to me. Listen, what you told. I tried my best. I tried my best to save the maiden in question, but it was obvious that she had made up her mind to be with the man. How could you say that? Is it just how? Tell me. What maiden likes to be with a man who beat her all the time? Talk for yourself, my dear. Talk for yourself. Because most maidens love men that beat. I mean, beat them, of course. And I realized she's one of such, so I allowed her to go and be with the man. He can keep beating her if she enjoys it. I'm, I'm finding it very difficult to believe that it is the same Izuchiko that we are talking about here. The one who used to fight for the maidens. I mean, the one who used to stand up and defend the maidens. Everything has changed. He has started attacking maidens. And I pray help comes to him soon before it is too late. That, that, that man, I, I, I don't like him. In fact, I hate him like I hate bitter, very bitter medicine. I hope you will not disturb my spirit. Is it Chukwu Akwadike? That spirit talking through you must leave. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? Huh? Oh, you, you think I'm, a, I'm the warrior of just this village? Eh? I'm the warrior of the whole world! Mind yourself, oh! Papa, look at this idiot that I wanted to give daughter of the moon to marry. But you see this nonsense, you don't sit now. I will not keep you! Ekunipe, Ekunipe Okunka. Please. My oh, son oh, is oh, totally mad. Blah, 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 you know. Madness has taken hold of him. Help me. One minute. Papa. You are just looking at me. Eh? <laughs> Thank the gods. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh, what, what happened to me? <laughs> this madness was caused by Usisi Kanko. Huh? 
Osisi can cook. I was just coming from his house. He has been with him since two weeks. Papa, what happened to me? You're all right. It's just that you had a little problem, but it's okay now. OCC Kanku placed the charm of madness on his Ube tree. Yeah. That whoever plucks from it would go mad. Uh, uh. And your son here innocently plucked from it. Hey. That was the beginning of his madness. Hey. This world is indeed an evil place. What is Ube? For you to make my son mad? Mbano, the king must hear this. You would make no trouble with anyone. The gods have eyes. And they can see. Allow them carry out their duties. Moreover, the king will not do anything without the approval of the gods. Mm. Hi. Thank you, Ekunife. I don't know how to thank you enough. But you will certainly hear from me. As your spirit leads you, Nai. Take your son home. Let him have his bath. Give him food. Give him water. Papa. <laughs> Papa, what really happened to me? Is it you my son? It's a long story that I will tell you soon. Let's go. Go. Mm. Thank you, Ekunife. Go. I brought you firewood. Thank you very much. Uh, please take it to the back of the hut. Okay. Why that strange look? I am seeing a lot of hidden secrets in you. You're welcome. You're always welcome.
is the native doctor from this land. Did you travel to another land to meet him? If not for one thing, I will disown you as my friend. What is wrong with you? Must you always do this? I don't like it. What have I done wrong? Tell me. I am only concerned about my friend who is always making a fool of herself. She dare stand here and insult me. Excuse me? You want me to fall out with you before you start minding your business? Where did you keep that firewood I saw you carry? Is it at the house of the healer? Why are you like this? Why are you distracting that young man of the gods? You know what? You're here to provoke me to the extent that we start a fight. I know more than that, so I will not descend that low. Listen to me, Nwadiyoto. I know what you want. Surely you won't get it from me. So stand here. Stand here some more and I'm sure it won't be long before you meet your Waterloo. I feel pity for you, my friend. I feel pity for you because by the time the healer finally dumps you, you will not have any other young man in this village to fall back on. Continue being a fool. Spirit of a healer. Ah. Stranger of a... Ah. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I was actually coming to see you. There is something to cheer you up. Yeah, I like that. If a Chiwetalu came to my house with an animal he killed, I have prepared it. So as my friend that likes meat a lot, I decided to come invite you for a feast. So most importantly, come with a keg of palm wine so that we can feast. I don't have any palm wine. And it seems that someone is bewitching me. I was trying to come to your hut and ask for your favor. What makes you think someone is bewitching you? Uh, I don't get enough palm wine from the trees again. And even the little I try to get, nobody will come to buy. Look, my friend, at times, challenges come to test our resolve. But tough times don't last. Tough people do. Leave that story. Leave that story, Okunife. Yeah? Tell me the secret behind your powers. On some tough times, tough people. Tell me the secret behind your powers. But there are no secrets behind my powers. Why are you lying to a friend, Okunife? There are no secrets and you do the kind of things you do. Huh? Jose Mena, this power you speak of is in my blood. What blood? What blood? Eh? Eh? You were formerly a hunter. And after your father's death, you suddenly became a powerful healer. Is it not obvious that you acquired some powers from somewhere? Eh? All I say blood, blood, the blood. Please, open up to me. I am ready to know what you know. That is what friends do for friends. Not coming to uh, take me out for a feast. And I say blood in the blood. Make sure. You sustain the healing process in the family. I... I don't understand. Why must I continue from where you start? Son... You do not need to argue. Soon... I will join you. 
join my ancestors. The apple in the Nebula spirit responsible for healing. Father, I am comfortable as a hunter. I do not want to be a healer. Bring my back. Just like my father gave it to me. But why are you forcing this on me? Why? Son, it is your right. Nobody must take it away from me. Ancestors calling me. Remember to visit different diviners upon the margins of every new moon. Empire. About the minds of the gods and our ancestors. So, yes, any healer that knows the mind of the gods and ancestors will never fail in anything. He does take That is how it all started. My father transferred this power to me. In fact, it is hereditary. There is no secret behind my powers. Did you want me to believe you? Eh? Listen, I am your best friend. Tell me your secret and let me start making money like you. Ozemina, there is no secret attached to my powers. And I do not collect money from people when I hear that alone should tell you that it is not all about money. Eh, uh, but you're making a lot of money from this. The same money they give to me is willingly. I do not ask for money. Moreover, healing has a lot of rules. The spirit of healing will leave any healer who is more concerned with the money. Uh, it is possible 
You are telling me the truth. But I don't know why I am finding it difficult to believe you. I am not concerned with your unbelief, Ozemena. This power you talk about was given to me by my father. And my father got it from his own father. And by the gods, I would give it to my son when my time is up. There is no secret attached to my past. If you don't want to believe me, go ahead and believe whatever you like. I, 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 are we not supposed to be having a feast? Come, let me bring the little pie when I have him. Care huh? provider, soul of a lion. Why are men so wicked? What is so bad? That someone will place a charm on a tree just to protect it? He is completely healed. Greetings, Father. Greetings, Father. Greetings, my children. How are you? Very well. We are fine, Father. Um, well, Father, I brought her to show her the beads I bought from Nise. Ah. Yes. She will help me sell them to the women. On the condition that they are affordable. I told you this before. Yes. Yeah, we'll consider that. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Where are you running to? Someone is dying. I need to save that life now. Uh, I brought water for you. Thank you. Um, uh, excuse me. Can I prepare food for you? No. Next time. Uh, please. I said next time. I missed him again. Spirit of a healer, it's in the way he works. You can see the way he Does it mean you don't like the beads or what? Oh, I love them. <laughs> so why are you not talking about the beads and you're rather looking at me like someone you, you're just seeing for the first time? Does it mean he doesn't know that he ran mad? Should I tell him? What you talk? Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm, I'm fine. I was just thinking about the healing power of the gods. It's amazing what the gods can do, you know. Are we talking about the beads or you're deviating to something else? Oh, forgive me. How much are you selling them? All of them. Help us save her. She has been unconscious. <laughs> you to attend to her. Please help us. She is all that we have. Please.
Help us save her. She's unconscious, but she's alive. She's alive. <laughs> is fine now. Thank you. Take her home. Thank you. May the God Alan bless you. Because of Alan! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After the gods healed the sick girl yesterday, I had a visitor. Her name is Uma Deuto. I don't understand. Maduto is one of the decent maiden we have in this land, at least by my judgment. Yeah? What did she come to do in your place? She was very nice to me. Ha! Ah! And at a point, I thought she was the one. But when I remember all my father told me about my wife, I knew she wasn't. I will not fall into your trap. And start discussing women this month with you. No. How do you mean? Oh. So this is what you think about me now. That all I do in this village is talk about maidens and women. Um. I see you are beginning to do greater things than your father. That is what I want to discuss. Not uh, uh, one daughter or any maiden. And as one daughter, one daughter. Uh, Ask the prayer of every father for the child to be greater than him. Yes. Uh -huh. By the way, why did you say that? Uh, I overheard some men discussing about that. They said you are already greater than your father. And by my little understanding of medicine, this your healing power can bring wealth to you. So I want us to plan as friends on how we can start making money from your gift. Oh. What you have just said now is impossible. I am not interested. No, 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 no. You must be interested. Yes. You see, you can become the richest man in Umuakadian if you start collecting money from people. Health issues are complicated and People can pay anything demanded of them to see their loved ones live. You are my best friend. Just think about that. Make money. Sorry, you'll be all right. 
this secret as a healer is I never ask people for anything. <coughs> Papa, Papa. <coughs> Papa, please, please. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I heal them as the gods lead. I allow them to give me anything they like. <coughs> Papa, Papa. <coughs> Papa, please, please. Papa, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Papa. Remember when you take over from me to follow in that path. <coughs> Oh, please, please. The gods will provide for you. Ah. Why that strange look? Why those strange and abominable words? I am beginning to see you as one determined to set me against my father. Don't be naive. Why would you see me as an enemy for telling you the truth? I don't need that truth of yours. Quit telling it to me. You think I'm not rich? I am content with what I have. The mantle of healing was given to me freely and the instruction is that I heal freely. Let this be the last time you raise this topic. Because when next you do, I will not only stop talking to you, but I will cut you off. Ha! I am sorry. Hold on. Come back. Hey. Is my advice an evil one? To have Provoked him. Where is he? Where is the good man? The special one. The man of the gods. I'm aware he was here. Where is he? Are you are you by any means talking to me? Is it a crime to talk to you? Look, he asked me to do something for him. That's why I'm looking for him. His father told him certain things about the woman he would marry. I mean, not boast of knowing all the things the man said, but I'm certain he was bad from Considering desperate meetings. And you, my daughter, are one of them. And I hate you so much. Desperate maiden? Why would he call me a desperate maiden? has become a bone in my neck. He has destroyed my business with his charitable works, claiming to be a useless healer. He appears to be more powerful than his father. I won't allow that boy to continue to exist. Ekunife, Ekunife, prepare to battle with the spirit of the deep, because I am going to fight you to a standstill. I don't know who you are or what your plans are. Let me remind you that I was a hunter before I became a healer. Who are you and why did you block my route in the way that suggests war? It was sword. I'm the man sent by your father to bring you the beat 
that you make him distrust you. I'm not here to answer questions. I'm here to deliver a message. So what is it? I am the man. Call me the man. We are this. No man with acquire powers will ever destroy you. Grandfather decides to bless me with a beat. Gods of my father. Gods of my father. The way you left me yesterday was very insulting. And I will leave you again. Go inside to attend to more important things if you do not leave what happened yesterday. How can I leave what happened yesterday when my friend has, has refused to say anything tangible to me? What do you want me to say to you now that I have not said already? Right. There was a man of Ibuzo Kingdom named Abodike. He was a great healer just like you. He rose to become known in the whole of Ibuzu Kingdom and even beyond. So why are you telling me about the man from Ibuzu? That same man of Ibuzu Kingdom died and there was no money to buy a cow for his burial. In fact, he died wretched. Zemia, are you saying that I am going to die wretched? Greetings, great men of our land. Greetings, beautiful maiden. Welcome. Thank you. I brought you water. Thank you. Please, um, go to the back of the house. You would find a big pot. Pour it there. I have two visitors in my compound, and surely both of them will leave. I beg to go now. Yeah, thank you very much for the water. Please. Come back in the evening, I will prepare a gift for you. I will come. Go in peace. What is that? <laughs> uh, who do you love among these maidens? 
Well, um, I would allow the gods to choose for me. <coughs> when we left yesterday, Fat Mwado Tom came looking for you. Try and make a choice urgently. Because probably the wife you will marry will be the one that will open your eyes. The earlier you stopped talking about my personal life, the better for us. Why did you beat on your neck? I bought it for myself. Do you like it? This one is different from all the beads I've seen. I don't know why you like strange things. Greetings. Is Ekunife. I don't know. Actually, I went to. Actually, I did not go to Ekunife's house. I, I went to give Ichi Agama some water. Really? Mm. You are going to give Ekunife money water? Eh. <laughs> that is very kind of you. Go well. Can't they just leave him alone? I can fetch him as much water as he needs. Why can't they just let him be? And I have been asking myself the same question. Why can't Uzodima leave Ekunife for me? I beg your pardon, what do you talk? Are you lusting after my man? Your man? Ah! <laughs> do you even know what that means? Listen, let me tell you. Yesterday, I cooked his lunch and we ate together. Have you ever cooked for him before? Why then do you call him your man? Please. Why are you stopping me? Listen, I want to make something very delicious for you. You need to start eating what a woman cooks. And who told you that I have not been eating what a woman cooks? So why are you not eating mine? Look, Uzodima, it's not like I don't trust you. It has to do with me. It has to do with my spirit. Okay, you will surely cook for me, but not today. Why? Because I have not been moved by my spirit yet. When I am moved, I will not only eat your food. I would also eat the one that was cooked in your house. And bring to me here to eat. <laughs> Do you know why I hate you? Tell me. I will tell you. Because you are a pathetic liar. Oh. So you really think I'm lying about this whole thing? No! I don't just think, I know! And you get lost! Because there is no way Ekunife would descend so low to have you a fool cook his meal! <laughs> you can go ahead and console yourself that it never happened. But, I want you to know that it did. Yesterday, I cooked a very delicious ofen salad with dried meat, the one he gave to me to use in preparing the soup, with a very smooth pounded yam to go with. 
We ate it together. <laughs> you know why that is so? Because he prefers me. What do you thought? To you. So get lost and stop throwing yourself at him. Some things in life we just cannot change. Some fuss in life we cannot fight. All we can do is to leave our lives. Leave your life so I leave my life. Leave your life. This is the right spot to eliminate the idiot. Come closer and see the earth no more. Argue with your chi and argue your last. What's this, Ikanku? Why are you looking like one who woke up on the wrong side of his bed? Are you all right? Ekunife, the son of Okunkano Kenyi, the best hill I ever produced in the land of Umakadiani. <laughs> Each time I meet with you, it gladdens my heart to realize I am meeting with a replica of Okunkano Kenyi. Mm. He practically vomited himself in you. Why are you in there? Thank you. What's the Kanku one of Umwaka Dia? Um, <laughs> there is magic in my name. I know. And the gods instructed me to bless you. Mm. <laughs> As the gods pleases. <laughs> Blessing me? You say, well, have you forgotten who I am? The son of Okunka Anu Anuke? You dare my forefathers? <laughs> God <laughs> of my ancestors. <laughs> Great hill of our land. Something just happened and I came back to pray. What are you doing here? Why did you come back? Why did you do it, my love? Who is your love? And why did I do what? You gave her dried meat and she made your lunch of ofensala and pounded yam. Both of you ate together. Why are you killing me slowly, my love? Why? What are you talking about? And look, I would not stand here to discuss this with you. I have a pressing issue. I need to pray. Please, I need to be left alone. Just go. Shana for tiger. Just do what is right, what is right. Oh, uh, I never would have been my car. I 
Do you mind telling me why you cannot pick a maiden of this kingdom and make your wife? Why? Oh no. There's no doubt you've done well by coming here and discuss this with me. But then, I am not seeing a wife in any of them. Meaning what? Are you aware that immediately after the Obaze festival, a new king will emerge in this land? And from what you know, that festival is around the corner. If the time comes and you have no wife, <laughs> the king makers of this kingdom will select a new king from any of the families of the ruling class. It simply means that you have lost the throne. And what that happens, I will know wicked in Igbo. The Ugo Chalasha of Umolili Kingdom will not be able to stop them. Are you not aware? Someone already brought that to my notice, so no. But I believe it's too far. I want you to understand that I cannot get married to a maiden. My spirit does not accept. The last maiden you brought, she was beautiful, fine. Yes, she is. Okay. But then, she doesn't qualify to be my wife. Sorry. Really? I'll tell you something, my prince. You have to look around this kingdom and make a choice. Select any of the maidens that you have small likeness for. Listen, all the qualities a man may be looking for in a woman to make his wife may not be found in just one woman. Is that possible? So what you have to do is to encourage yourself. Settle for one. That one you have small likeness for. Encourage yourself and make her your wife. Start living with her. Soon, you will start overlooking her lapses. Start overlooking her excesses, her stupidity as a woman. And then you will begin to love her. That is how marriage works. And that is what I want you to attempt immediately. Oh, well, very well said. But there, like I told you before, we have beautiful maidens in this kingdom. But I'm not seeing a wife in any of them. When I see that special one, no, I will recognize her. But for now, I'll keep searching. You have proven to me that you are useless. You took your cost self to Ekunife. To discuss what? And what business of yours is it with what I discussed with my man? Well, I asked him and he said he didn't eat any insala soup with you. You were making the healer a liar by what you were saying. And I know he did not say that to you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I cooked for him mm -hmm. and we ate together. <laughs> All the gods be praised. Every passing day, the gods give me more reasons to believe that you are the most supreme of them all. What are you talking about? Someone here was lying in your name. And just before I could say anything, the gods brought you our way to explain things yourself. <laughs> What lie did you tell with my name? Are you going to believe this gold digger without as little as asking me to explain what happened 
What do you intend to explain to him? Tell me, what? I told you that I cooked his meal. And I did that because I see him as a man who deserves all the respect. And you lied. You said you confronted him and he denied it. I beg your pardon. Denied what? Are you by that implying that you, you had her cook your lunch? Enough! And let this be the last time you would ever make me a subject of your discussion. I do not owe you anything. I have not promised you anything. I would eat whatever I want. And whenever I want, as the gods lead, mm. let this be the last time I would warn you. Mm. Are you walking out of... Are you, where did I go wrong, my love? He is not your love. He just made it clear to you that he doesn't love you. Ah! Get out of my sight. Or you will eat me raw, I suppose. Please save the energy. You forgot to ask the most important question. Let me make it clear to you. Not only that he ate what I cooked for him, we ate it as husband and wife. You should have asked him that. He barred me from cooking his meal. And he's finally eating what Mwadiuto cooked. What is going on? My prince. I, I have to be leaving now. But why are you leaving so soon? I am the unknown of this land. And this is your wing. Your chambers where I can always come back. I have to leave you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, who go chalasha of Umulili Kingdom. Always remember that, my prince. Uh, how can I forget the title of a great man of our land? <laughs> <laughs> you are blessed. You are blessed equally, my prince. In fact, you are blessed more, my prince. <laughs> May the gods guide your steps to you know. He said... And may the gods guide your thoughts as well. Thank you very much, Onobu. Know. Have you seat. Thank you, my prince. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you, my prince. I feel great sitting before my prince. Thank you for the warm welcome. The owner already told me about you. A lot about you. And I feel happy to be with a beautiful maiden like you. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. Do you mind standing up again? It's all pleasure. I don't know who will tell you when next to see me, okay? As it pleases my prince. You may take your leave now. Milima, mm -hmm. you were excited when Onowu sent for you. Mm -hmm. And we learned he took you to the prince. So why are you not happy? It's not that I am not happy. No, I am only concerned about the prince of our land. Really? And why would you be concerned about the prince of Umu in the kingdom? He's already up there with the men of the ruling class deciding the fate of this kingdom. If you ask me, I will say he does not even know you exist. Iroma, this is what I hate about you. Why are you so dumb when it comes to reading other people's emotions? And what is it with the prince's emotions that you've already read to judge others of not doing the same? See, Iwoma, the prince is confused. He is confused as to who to marry. He doesn't even know the kind of woman he wants. And that, if you ask me, uh, I would say is a very serious problem that any man could face. Milima, 
my dear friend. Let me break it down. There is always a woman for every man. The prince has not made his choice because he has not seen who to marry. When the right woman comes, he will definitely say the right words. Really? Yes. Now, just, just, just look at me. Just look at, just look at all this. What is it that a man could possibly be looking for in a woman that I do not have? What? I think the prince is under a curse and I expect you to be bothered. Let me end this discussion so you won't have the reason to bring it up again. If you're destined to marry a great man, that man will come from the least expected place. Yes, Prince Arubare Zama is surely a great man. No doubt about that. But he's not the only great man we have in this kingdom. Think about it. Excuse me. Can you please explain what you are trying to say? Can you? Oh no. I believe you heard me right the first time. The maiden you introduced to me is not my type. Oh, she's beautiful, yes, I admit. But she's not just my type. Can you do me this favor? Tell me exactly what you want that maiden. You want to make your wife. The same maiden we have been waiting for. Through all this period. Oh, no. Can you tell me what you want her to look like so oh, no. we know exactly what you are looking for? Oh, no, I cannot describe the maiden to you. Okay? But I believe she's somewhere there. I mean, when, when I see her, I'll know her. I will recognize her. Take Kulanot. Good Kulanot. To the grave of your father. Pray. Ask him to open your eyes and you are going to discover that the maiden I just brought here is the angel you have been waiting for. Can you do that this afternoon? Oh no, do you care for a drink? Are you okay? No, what is this? No, why are you offering me drink when we are in the middle of a crucial discussion? Am I now considered as one of the drunks of this kingdom? What is this? An insult or what? Uh, oh no, on the contrary, I do not consider you to be a drunk. I just needed something that would take your mind off this topic. Hmm? I am going to get married for sure. But please, allow me to look for the maid myself. Listen, Adongwa. I am the Onowu of this kingdom. And I expect you to respect the position I occupy in this land. With due respect, Ono, I do not only respect the position you occupy, I respect you as a man that deserves to be respected by all. If that is the case, why then have you refused to follow me to the palace? Why? That is the problem. Ono, follow you to the palace and be introduced to Prince Arubalezama. Is there a problem with that? I have lost count of the number of maidens that have been taken to him, yet he is unable to make a choice. I am not ready to be listed amongst those maidens. See, I don't want, maybe I have to tell you this. I took my time and made the prince to give me a description of the kind of woman and he gave a description that fits you perfectly. This is why I, I brought you here. And this is why I'm doing this. Come with me. Let us go and see him. Do this. I've, see this as one of the things you are doing for this kingdom. Please. Oh no, I suggest you look for another maiden. Why? 
There are a lot of maidens in this land and beyond that look like me. Locate any of them the way you have located me and take her to the prince. I don't want there are things I still want to say to you and you are leaving. Arubalezahama. Maybe the time has come for you to solve your problem yourself. Fail to solve this problem and you will lose the seat of power of this land. When that happens, there will be only one person you will hold responsible. And that one person is you. Just leave. You sent for me, my prince. Yes, I did. I want to personally invite you to the palace. Is there a problem? No, not at all. You see, I want to have a brief discussion with you. And I don't think it was wise making you stand here. I mean, that is why I'm inviting you to the palace. Where we can talk in a conducive environment. Mm. 